Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another Chronicles of a Crafter Try It Thursday. So I am here with my 12 by 12 space because that's about how much I have left on my desk to work in. So I decided to use up this little space right here and do something with some 12 by 12 paper, okay? So all I did was just take a sheet of double-sided 12 by 12 paper and I cut it down into four inch strips. So it's now four by 12, okay? So this is what I'm working with right now. These are all fairly even 4x12 strips. And I'm going to make a little folio type of uh, waterfall kind of paper thingy that anybody can make. All right, This is just using up some of our 12x12 12 12 paper packs because who doesn't have enough of that? Like we... <laughs> We have so much paper that uh, we should probably try to use some of it up and make some cute stuff. So this is single sided paper. If you have single sided paper you can use you can use it and do this project just the same. It will then look like this. And here's my waterfall guys like isn't that so so snazzy like <laughs> I was impressed when I did it myself and I was like oh this would be a great try it Thursday. So. I'm just going to round these corners on here because I like these corners at the end rounded. And then that will go really nicely with the rounded corners on here. So my rounded corners on this side and rounded corners on the top flap. And I put a little, little Velcro dot, you know, and there. This shouldn't take us too long to make. I think I can do this fairly quickly on camera and show you guys how I did it. So again, this is single sided paper. Gives you plenty of space for journaling when you do it on single sided paper. When you do it on double sided paper, it's more for the pretty and the aesthetics more so than for journaling. Look how much space I have for journaling. Like this will look so awesome in my junk journal in my traveler's notebook. I mean, I have all of this space for journaling. Okay, so I'm gonna do it next on some double-sided paper. So this is just some pretty simple double-sided paper. And I don't think there's any particular direction. This is really nice that it's non-directional double-sided paper, but I'm assuming that this section right here is the center so let me just um, put it together let's see all right so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this as my center and I'm gonna flip it over all right so now this is my inside I'm gonna give you these score marks that I made let me grab my scoreboard this is my large score pal 12 by 12 scoring board which makes it really easy for scoring this project all right so i'm going to move these two out of the way and we're working with the cover only all right and for my cover i'm going to score it at uh, let's use this score i'm going to score it at um three and three quarters so here three and three quarters and then three and seven eighths okay and then I'm going to score it at eight and one eighth and then eight and a quarter okay so now we have this right here and we're just going to go ahead and fold it over on those score marks that we made I'm going to burnish it down really well. Okay. And do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay. So now we have 
this right here. All right, nice little little envelope to receive our paper. And for this right here, we're going to score both of these identical. I am going to I am going to um, give you those score marks. So for the first one, you're going to score it at four. And you're going to score it at 8. Okay? Same thing with the second one. 4. And score it at 8. And that's it for scoring, guys. That's all we need. Let me move my scoreboard. And now we're just going to fold this over to on those score marks that we made. There's one. There's the other. Same thing there and there. All right. And then we're going to accordion style fold it. So we all know from making our pockets that these are accordions. All right. So you're going to zigzag fold it back on itself. All right. Same thing with this one. One's going to flip over, the other one's going to flip behind it all right and then you're going to end up with this and now we're going to glue these two together so because I want a little bit of the plane a little bit of the pattern on both sides I'm going to glue it like this this way when it's folded up okay it will look like like this all right so let me just go ahead and grab some glue and I will be right back all right guys I'm using um, either one of these glue sticks will work I'm using uh, I can use my scotch create glue stick or craft bond so let's just use this it's open and ready so I am just going to apply glue stick all the way around the edge and all in the middle of this section of the uh, accordion paper okay on this side all right and then I'm gonna go ahead go in with some um, art glitter glue and just glue all the way around the edges staying away from that inner crease right there okay then I'm going to take this side of the paper and just put it right in the middle here okay I'm just gonna line this up just perfectly like so without going over that crease mark Okay, and your page should still be able to flop over like that. All right, Art Glitter Glue dries fairly quickly. And now we have this, okay? So this is our inner portion of that folio, okay? So now I'm going to take my cover and decide which side I want glued down. So it can go either way. It's so pretty. I'm going to glue the pink side down right here in the middle. Okay. And then that would leave me with this. All right. Okay, so let's get some more glue on this middle section right here. And some art glitter glue around the edges, staying away from that center score line. I'm just going to adhere my paper 
right there in the middle section. And at this time is when you want to make sure that everything is straight. It's where you want it to be. Everything is lined up nicely. I know art glitter glue doesn't give you that much time to move, maneuver your paper around. But I think we got it right where we want it. And there you have that. All right, this is nice and thin. It can fit into any junk journal, but then you have all of this space for photos or, you know, journaling. You can um, glue a piece of paper down here, either, you know, some plain white paper or you can um, white gesso the middle here and just jot down whatever you want. You have a lot of space for creativity and journaling and whatnot. I'm now going to round my corners. And this paper right here is like, it's like already like naturally dirty around the edges. I don't even have to ink this or anything. So you see that and that. So I like this paper a lot. This was part of the paper stack that I got from the thrift store for about seven or eight bucks when I got all of that, you know, stacks and stacks and stacks of paper for really inexpensive um, at the thrift store. So now I'm just going to take a glue dot, grab both pieces of it, both the, um, the fuzzy side and the coarse side. I'm just going to pop it down right there. I can put a dab of glue on it, make sure it doesn't go anywhere, and fold this over like so. I'm just going to hold that in place for a moment, give it a minute to set up. And really, guys, this is it. That's all it is. It's just this. I mean, look at how much journaling space this has on it. You got one, two, three, four, five, six sections that you can literally just write on. And then all through here, you can do whatever you like. And it's so cute and coordinated. Um, yeah, and it'll fit into any journal just really nice and neatly. I'm going to go ahead and make one more really quickly and show you one more time. All right, you decide which side you want to make your cover, okay? It's up to you. There's no right or wrong. There's no, um, you know, it's all up to you. You can make that decision on your own. I'm going to make this piece here in the center of my cover so I'm going to flip it over all right grab my scoreboard and I'll give you those score marks one more time okay so for the cover we're going to score it at this again is a four by 12 sheet of paper. So you take a 12 by 12 and you cut it down four inches, four inches and four inches, all right? And then we're gonna score this first one at three and a quarter and then three and seven eighths. And then you're gonna come over here at eight and one eighth and then eight and a quarter. And that's it. That's all the scoring that you need to do for your cover, okay? Then you fold it over, get those score marks nice and burnished down the first one and the second one and do the same thing on the other side all right and 
now we have that all right so i'm going to go ahead and give you the scoring for <clears throat> the paper for the inside and you can use any paper on the inside it doesn't even have to be part of the same this is just the cover and you can use anything on the inside that you have i'm going to score it at four and at eight and the same thing here for my paper is not even. I'm going to have to uh, cut off this little white edge right here. It's giving me a problem. So I'm going to score it again at 4 and at 8. Let me go ahead and cut down this little white line that I have on both sheets because it's not scoring appropriately for me. And I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So here are my two sheets that I'm going to zigzag fold again or accordion fold back and forth on itself. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Okay, The score marks are already there. I'm just following along with what I've already scored at 4 and 8. And I'm just going to burnish these, these down and here we go. Just have to decide where your accordion is going to go. All right, and I'm going to glue these two down together right in there. Again, I'm using my Craft Bond permanent glue. Just gluing in the center, and then I'll get um, my art glitter glue for the edges. Again, not going to that, that score mark. We're staying clear away from that score mark. Just want to make sure I get enough glue on here to glue this down. Okay. I'm going to pick it up, make sure that I'm away from that score mark. It'll make my life so much easier if it's not on that score line. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here's the full accordion. And there we have it. I'm going to burnish everything down, make sure that everything is nice and even. And then we're going to place it into our cover. Again, the decision is yours which side you want to be down or up. I am going to place the stripe side against the stripe side and let's see yep so yeah that makes it a lot easier when all the stripes are facing the same direction <laughs> I'm so glad that worked out okay so again just some I'm running out some um, craft bond in the middle Okay, and I'm going to place my art glitter glue on the edges of, of here. Okay. And again, I'm staying away from the score marks that I made. And I just want to get it in the center. All right. And now we have this. I'm going to round my corners because I love rounded corners. It just makes everything look finished. All right, and I'm gonna grab a glue dot, or not a glue dot, a Velcro dot. <laughs> and I'm just gonna place that right there. A little dab of glue. And that's it, guys. Here are my three 
I don't even know what I'm calling this. This is a uh, folio, I don't know, accordion flip out, pretty, I don't know, call it whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but hopefully you'll be able to find this video if you're ever look, looking for it again. But um, yeah, this is just a, I don't know. Put a name down in the comments down below. I'm just going to call this my um, flip out for now. But if you could think of a better name for this, I think you should put that down in the comments for me. So here's my prototype. All right. It was on single sided paper. Plenty of room for journaling. Okay. And here are the two that we just made. Okay. It's on double sided paper, but the, the, the double side is very muted. Like you can still journal all through here. I think the black pen would look really nice through here. Okay, so yeah. And then here is the other one that I just made with the stripes. I think the stripes are really cute and they line up very nicely. Okay, with the flowers on the other side. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you here. I hope you guys have a crafty day and you're doing something spectacular with your Thursday. Go ahead and try this project. And if you do, tag me in your, in your project so that I can find you and show you some love. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a crafty day and stay naturally curious. Bye!